Okay, okay, so this car is just insanely surprising. I have no idea, like, how to describe it. But, like, look at this car. Look at it. Like, it it's small. It's a little classic car. It looks really cute. looks really petite. looks really awesome. Honestly, I love it. Now, I want you to guess the engine, the, uh, like, weight, and the year. Also, Janetta was not a manufacturer I was expecting to come into Forza, but honestly, I really would have loved Panos, because they actually have some pretty cool stuff, too. So, you have your guesses in? Not another one of these kids, dude. Well, all of them are wrong! This is a 2019 Janetta G10 RM. It weighs just over 2,000 pounds. It has 450 horsepower out of a 6-liter V8. And it's about the size of a Miata, if not smaller. Just let that sink in. You should probably go answer your front door. That would be the sink. Um, anyways. Yeah. I, I said it had a V8. This car was made in 2019. I think it was also made in 1958, but I don't know. I crack myself up. No, I don't. I am pathetic. Anyways, but this car is going to get crazier and crazier, I assume, because we could probably make it lighter. Also, like, the tires on this thing are massive. But we could probably make it lighter, and you could probably swap in a bigger engine. That is a 7.2 liter V8. We are going to put the biggest engine in the smallest car. Oh, and we get to turbo it. Also, we're going to all wheel drive because we, we have to do that. Like, let's be honest here. Tow hook. Oh, wonderful. Let's cover it up with a giant splitter. Okay, with the arrow, this thing actually looks like sick. Also, we're going to keep the stock wheels because I actually love those like Watanabe style wheels. I want to say this thing is on classic race tires. If we throw on slick, if, okay, if we throw on slicks, we're gonna get to X class. We're getting this thing to X class. After the reset, this might be the first car I get to X class. I'm saying X class a lot because I know this thing is getting to X class. All right, roll cage, go. Honestly, I was expecting you to put like in the. Would that technically be a parcel shelf? I don't know. And then we could do weight reduction somehow. And then we could do a race fuel system, race ignition, race engine block, sport flywheel, the flywheel, the intercooler, and we are not X class. This is very surprising. What if we throw on T37s? What if we throw it on T37s? We're still, we are so close to X, but just won't get there. What if we throw in the stock engine again? We twin turbo that. And then how much power can we get out of the stock engine? So we're aiming for the 1,356. And we have more modifications, so we might actually be able to do it. If not, I'm just going to go with top of S1, because I know this thing will be insane there. And we have just under 1,000, like two under 1,000. So I'm actually going to abandon the setup and then we can start this again because I don't actually know why. But, oh yeah, because now I can actually select the upgrades better. Okay, so I threw in the stock motor and basically did everything else we had. Uh, but I did tune the motor like a lot of 619 horsepower. We're still all-wheel drive and we still weigh about the same. So all I really did was throw back in the stock motor and um yeah that literally i just threw the stock motor back in it so i guess let's tune our gears i don't actually know if this thing will be any good in s1 and i don't really want to like test that out this thing has raced all the way up i just realized this thing could be a really sick little like buggy like it's got the big tires it's got the small uh like wheel profile this thing would be pretty sick as a buggy. It kind of looks like one, too, in a way. And obviously, this thing just comes like this gunmetal gray. What if we did like a British racing green? 
Looks like I don't want to keep it just the stock color. So I guess we'll do the uh, trick that I use to actually get uh, like special colors and stuff like if you want a metallic color you literally do like the uh, two color uh, metallic and then you just set both to the same color and it's still metallic like it's just pretty funny like that and then what about the hood could we do actually carbon hood I don't know if a carbon hood would look good on this it, it, it does not, okay. Lesson learned, it does not. What about the wheels, carbon wheels? That looks pretty sick. And that's about it. I forgot to throw on TA37s, but honestly, the stock wheels, I like the stock wheels a lot better. How it's got that deep dish. Like, those things are freaking bowls at this point. I just realized we still have another car after this. But yeah, this thing is gonna be stupid in S1. Honestly, the acceleration isn't what I was expecting. Also, this thing is insanely loud. I should probably turn my headset volume down. Because this thing is stupid loud. Also, it turns really well. And we could probably make it turn better if we change the, um differential set it to more rear wheel drive like if you do like 85 percent to the rear it'll probably turn a lot better yeah a little bit i mean still okay if i want to buy another one of these how much is it five hundred thousand dollars jeez i thought this thing was supposed to be like a beginner race car like, you hold cups. Like, this is the car you, if you want to get into racing. But I guess only if you're, like, Elon Musk or something. Of course, Elon Musk doesn't want to get into racing. He just wants to build his Space Age cars, which rust with one rainfall. I, I kid you not. Cyber trucks are rusting away. And I love it. Because the Cyber Truck... Honestly, the Cyber Truck just looks like a cheap knockoff of the Pontiac Aztec. And I should know. I have one right here, and I absolutely love it. Also, I did find an error of it. Wait, where is it? One of these is actually an error. One of the whole sides wasn't painted at all. Like, it was painted, but didn't have any vinyl on it, which was kind of crazy. They gotta add a Pontiac Aztec, dude. They gotta add 